Hi everybody, it's Janice, and I am back with another layout, and yes, it is Christmas. <laughs> I do have a lot of photos from Christmas time, so here we go. Um, I'm using the Close to My Heart Cricut Art Booking cartridge, and this is part of my um, online gathering for close to my heart um, there will be a link on the bottom in the description bar where you can link over to my original video explaining about the gathering the online gathering and that there will be a giveaway for those who place an order and leave me a comment saying that they did leave an order so um, make sure that you check that out so here we go so today we're going to be working with this layout here from page 61 and here it's a love theme. And what I love about this cartridge is that the ideas inspiration is endless. You can take a little bit from one page and a little bit from another page and make something all your own, which is great. Or you can just copy it exactly the way you see there just to kind of get your creative juices flowing. And then from there, you'll kind of start thinking, oh, well, what if we tried this? Okay, so um, I cut out everything here at the 11 inch with uh, relative size. Um, this way everything is cut to scale to look like that. Okay, and um, so let me show you what I did. I also, let me mention, I used some pieces from here. I used the title, Blessed, from this side from that page. That be good if I told you what page it is, maybe? That is page, I can't see it through the lens, 85. And then over here, I also use an icon, these, this arrow right here. Okay, so let's go. So first of all, I used the Heidi Swap Christmas paper that I used before. And this is my base, okay? <laughs> it's missing. I do this a lot because I like to use that middle paper for additional embellishments so that it does coordinate and I feel like I'm wasting all that paper because you can't see it anyway. So, and let me show you the next layer minus the embellishments because I'm gonna tell you how I made them. So here is this part is all done because this took me a while. I had to cut down the photos and I had to figure out how to get them to size and that I will explain to you in just a moment. I also used some of the pattern paper from that collection as well from the Heidi Swap Christmas. So see here, all I did was cut out the center and then now we have this awesome layered look. Now the, the frame itself, the overlay is popped up. I'll show you in the back here. See that dimensional adhesive there? Okay, that's fun foam. And then of course I cut all the pieces out and put them in one at a time. Now in the book it has the layout oriented this way. My photos, none of them were portrait. So I had to turn it around to make it work. Now this is how I cut the photos out. I used what was left over. So see, I'm starting to work on another one. I'm gonna make another one in a different color scheme. And so I used the inside of what was left over. So here's my overlay. This time I'm go I am in fact going to go this way with it. And then I will use the cards to, um, to cut the photos out. So for example, this here, this one will not be a Christmas layout. This one here, and I know I'm cutting all these people out, but that's okay. It's not a great photo. These I took with my phone and I didn't do a great job with this. This was a football uh, flag football practice from last season and I want to use the photos and I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with them because they're so bad <laughs> but I, I still want that memory 
you know. And maybe I'll save these because, you know, that's his coach, an assistant coach, and that's one of the dads of the kids who's really good friends with us. And so I don't want to cut them out completely, but for this purpose, I need to cut them out, okay? Now, here's the overlay. So now I know that I used this size. So I might want to put this one here or here or here. There's three places where that photo can go. And so see now? So if I'm gonna make it pop up again, all I would do is cut the strips of fun foam or dimensional foam or foam tape, whatever you happen to use. I just use fun foam. And I just cut it into strips and I put it here, 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 and here. And then I do the same thing for every single photo. Okay? And I just go through and I put these aside so that way I know, like as I use each of the squares, I know, okay, that one's been used. And I only have five photos for this sports layout. So that means that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's going to be a bunch of squares that are empty. And so in those places, I can like put the title in one and put journaling in another. And then all of the other spaces can be just little embellishments, you know, buttons or, you know, footballs or whatever. Okay. I could also, you know, what I could do. Oh, I just got an idea. I am going to stick these guys and another square. Oh, I'm sure somebody was shouting that out to me, going, no, no, you can use the photo, cut it out. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut this out, and then we're gonna keep them in the photo, and I'm gonna set that aside. And then, hi, I'll be right with you. Yes, you may. Okay, so um, here we go. So then what we're gonna do is, after we're done doing all of that, then we need to decide where all of our embellishments go. Shut the door, Adrian. Sorry about that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tear this down. So I'm just gonna go right over the foam tape and everything. And we definitely want, you know, a good amount of adhesive here because this is quite heavy. This would make a great home decor piece, I think. Thinking about getting one of those um, scrapbook album, I mean scrapbook frames, and then just changing it out every so often, so, so every time I have a layout that I really want to display, I need to do that. Okay, so now we are done. And there is tons of it. See there, I missed. Okay, so what I might do is maybe put another piece of paper back there, something that can just you know, some kind of paper that I don't like and just kind of cover that stickiness up with another piece, but we won't do that right this second. Okay, so our embellishments. I made this one. I'm gonna show you exactly how I did this. And that one will go there. And there's the title, Blessed, and I put snowflakes on it. From, the, from a snowflake background stamp. Then there were these little pieces that were arrows. And again, I used my DCWV glitter paper. And then this one goes there. And then this one actually is connected to this one. And then we have another little piece that goes up here like that little flag up there and that's been dimensionalized as well so here's what I did for this little heart banner thing I cut 
the exact same size. Remember, I cut them at 11 inches, but I, I copied it and I hid the contour from here. Okay, now if you don't have Cricut Craft Room or a Gypsy and you can't do that or you haven't learned it or anything like that, you definitely should learn it if you don't, but here's what you can do. You can just take your little piece of scrap paper. I'm just trying to get my paper here. This is what's left of that sheet. And you can just cut it with a scissor, of all things. Imagine that, cutting with scissors. All right, so see, I could just do that and simply, you know, nobody's gonna see the back, so it doesn't matter that it's not n nice and neat and tidy. Okay, but yeah, no, we're not doing that. Okay, so I attached, I adhered it here, but not before I stamped it. So I took my ink and I stamped, I stamped it here. Of course, I used the white daisy close to my heart pigment ink. And I just, boom, boom, okay, done. Because I got a mess now. All right, so this gets stuck down to here. Then the part that gets dimensionalized, I went very carefully here and I cut it out. Got little pieces everywhere. I got, I got this here and I cut it out. Sorry about the shadows, lighting issues over here. Okay, now of course I cut it a little more carefully when I did it. I didn't have that shadow, that's terrible, but um, you know, it's fine. And then I took some fun foam and I just popped it up right there. Then I took glossy accents, because that's what I have on hand, and I covered it in glossy accents and let it dry overnight. And then this is gonna go here. Just make a little layered embellishment, and I love it. Okay, so, and this is, this is actually like a, like a little reservoir there, so, or not a reservoir, but you know, like a, like a little frame, like a mm, shadow box type of thing. So the adhesive <clears throat> for this one is just going to go here and here. And if you're afraid that it's going to sag or anything like that, you can add another piece of fun foam right in the center. And then it'll be at the right level so it doesn't sag. Add in the center and then we're going to take this piece and just kind of tuck it in there like that. And then these ones, I'm not going to pop these up, I'm just going to stick them down in. And then I did the same thing with the blessed. I popped it up. Let's put this one down. I popped it up because I cut. I actually cut like three of them for this. The bottom layer is too thick two thicknesses of paper, and then I just cut the foam into little squares and just put it all around. I did this while I watched a show on Netflix, because tedious stuff like that makes me crazy sometimes. I love tedious. Those that know me are like, yeah, I think I'm the tedious queen, but I do it like when I'm watching something otherwise it would get very boring. Okay, so that goes there. And I don't actually have anywhere to journal right now. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do about that. I may just leave it as is, or I will 
um, journal on these outside pieces and maybe just, you know, say something quick about it, you know. Like, you know, my favorite. I'll put the date, of course, you know, like December 2000, December 25th, 2013. So at least I will remember the year. But then I will probably, you know, write down here, like the significance of the Nutcracker. And, you know, what was he so excited about here? Yeah, Rainbow Loom Bands. Like, look at him. You'd think I gave him a trip to Europe or something. You know, just the sweetness and my hair, my gift card to the hair place and this <clears throat> video game for the computer that he got. And my, I was actually pretending to be shocked because I actually ordered those glasses for myself, but my husband wrapped them in another box and so I didn't know what I was opening. So I think that one was genuine. I don't know what I got there, but, and then, you know, my husband's love of wrapped gifts. He just loves the way his gift turned out. He wrapped that one.